Atlas Jiu-Jitsu presents the Technique of the Week with Julio Foca Fernandez and Edward Anthony. I have the guy on my butterfly guard, right? A lot of times when you have the guy on butterfly guard, he holds your leg. If I don't do anything here, they start putting pressure here, right? They go around, they pass your guard. In the moment the guy put a hand on my leg, he gave me a chance to sweep him, see? That leg is going to slide inside his body, but I have to maintain control on the sleeve that he's not able to post the hand outside and avoid the reversal. My hand and the belt are going to pull him forward. See? It's a combined move. Pulling, sliding the leg, and pushing his arm. See? That's going to go. Leg inside, pull the guy on you, and push the hand. When I roll the guy, I control that arm here, control this arm here. I can fit my lapel here if I feel like. And go for submission here. And now it's time for Ask Julio. Uh, so David Donnelly uh, has a really great question. He wants to know how you've modified your jiu-jitsu as you've aged. Yes, well, well you know, uh, everything has to change. Everything has to evolve. You know, uh, I'm 57 years old now, and um, you know, over the years, I, uh, I, I didn't modify my training because, uh, you know, uh, uh, as you age, uh, you know, you have to, 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 to to uh, take advantage of the, uh, you know, the, the strength that comes from your legs, maybe, because you see your leg is stronger than your arms. Uh, depending on my training partner, I try to play from the bottom uh, and try to play from the top, that I don't have a heavy guy on top of me. You know, my training, I try to tailor to the, the, the opponent. You know? uh, I try to take advantage of the situation that I can maintain my control, that I can uh, you know, progress from there, move from there. You know, the, the worst thing that can happen is kind of a 150-pound guy, 140-pound guy, and you have a guy 220, 230 on top of you, and you cannot move, you know? Uh, you have to understand that, the, you know, you have to tailor your training, that, uh, you know, you, you, you're going to progress from there, you can uh, uh, start moving from one situation to another situation. And, you know, part of my training, too, a lot of, do a lot of flexibility work that are kind of it makes me flexible, that, uh, uh, you know, prevents injury, you know? And uh, like I said, depending on a training partner, uh, I want to be on top. Uh, depending on a training partner, I want to be on the bottom. Uh, that bet's based on a size. I would say that bigger guy, I like to be on top. Smaller guy, I don't care to be on the bottom. But uh, you know, I try to be smart on my training because I see that prevents injury. <laughs> this has been brought to you by BJJ Revolution Team, Atlas Jiu-Jitsu, Edward Anthony Fitness, Combat Skin, and... It's a revolution! Aw, oh, yeah.